club podcast thing. Back yeah, mom. Or... Back, back in the club. Back in the, club. up um, in the club. We just figured we just figured we'd do a cheeky little uh, Patreon exclusive. Not mm. really though. Just a uh, 2023 year end review. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be on YouTube like every other one. <laughs> this is yeah. <laughs> this is this is the Monolith Oscars basically. Yeah. Yes. The awards. Okay, should we come up with some awards? What? Yeah, we can. We'll do it on yeah. the spot there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Th- this will be like a this will be like a Patreon yeah, thing or whatever. It's a little improv episode. You okay, know? Uh, let's do the. Um, I want to do a pizza trophy. Okay. okay. How would we call it? A pizza trophy. No. So I'll I'll just go through my I'll just go through my letterbox stats while you guys think of mm-hmm. stuff. How about I watched? It was a low year for me. I watched 128 movies. Okay. I'm, my goal every year is to watch a movie a day. Never mm-hmm. happens. Yeah. Yeah, it never happens. Never happens. I always have that idea, too. Um, I stopped rating movies a long time ago mm-hmm. on Letterboxd. Just because I found it exhausting, mm-hmm. kind of. And I kind of, I like logging my movies. But then having that pressure of needing to rate and review every movie, I was like, ah. Yeah, it becomes a chore. Yeah. So my my highest rated movie of the year yeah. is uh, Tree of Life. Okay. Terrence Malick, just because yeah. I rewatched it this year. Yeah. So it's the only movie that mm-hmm. actually has a rating because yeah. it's the only movie I rewatched mm-hmm. this year. I think. Ooh. So my my biggest week was uh in April, April twenty fourth to thirtieth. For some okay. reason, I watched uh, nine movies that week. Cool. Don't know. Don't know why. Mm-hmm. Don't know what was special about that week, but uh, so I averaged uh ten point seven movies per month, two and a half movies per week. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. More than me. That's I watched most of the most movies I watched on a Monday. Monday was my biggest viewing day. Mm. My first movie was The Forest of Love. Sio and Sono, the guy who did anti porno. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking good movie. Okay. Sio and Sono is awesome. I've loved everything I've seen from him. Mm-hmm. The last movie I watched in twenty twenty three was Deep Blue Sea, shark exploitation flick, with uh, what's his name that rapper? Is it LL Cool J? It is LL Cool J. That movie's known to, for being like one of the first movies, one of the first horror movies where the black guy is the only one to survive. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's not a good movie, though. Mm. Uh, most watched, Oppenheimer, just because I saw it twice in theaters. Okay. I rewatched Barbie, but I didn't log it at the yeah. same time. Okay. I, don't, I don't usually log rewatches. Mm-hmm. Has it changed your ranking of the movies? What? Having watched it a second time? Yeah, like Barbie and Oppenheimer. Because I remember last time you preferred Oppenheimer more than yeah. Barbie. Uh, like slightly more. So Oppenheimer stayed the same. I liked it just as much the second time. Barbie actually less. I liked it Ooh. less upon watching it again. Really? Yeah. Why? I found it held up less. Without without that like now that I with m- m- being able to expect everything, it kind of lost a bit of its loss. I understand. It was I watching it again. I was kind of like, okay, it's not as good as I remember. I feel it. like the aura of the Barbie movie. Yeah comes when you go in and you're not expecting what's going on. Yeah. And it's amazing. Yeah. Once once you know what you're going into, I found it a little lackluster. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Still it's still a good movie. still a very good movie. Yeah. yeah. I just mean um uh drama and horror are my tops top genres. Mm-hmm. Shocker. Yeah. I mean drama the yeah. thing about Letterbox is like every movie has multiple genres. Yeah. So like drama every movie's a drama That's almost. Thing, I don't consider drama a right. genre. Every movie's dramatic in some way. Yeah. Uh, USA is my top country. And then it's UK, France, Canada. Yeah. Top language, English. Again, so many movies that are not English movies just have mm-hmm. the English tag because there's an English version or something like yeah, that. Okay. So, like, the whole language, even the USA thing, ton, like, tons of the USA labeled movies are, like, foreign films. Mm, okay. It's just, for whatever reason, they have the USA label. Okay, these stats kind of suck. Um, well, top, top stars... Ethan Hawke and Johnny Depp. I rewatched every uh, Pirates movie. Nice. So that's all the Johnny Depp. And Ethan Hawke, I watched the um, the Before series, yeah. Richard Linklater, Before Sunset, Before Sunrise, Before Midnight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, top directors, Ari Aster. Oh, okay. Of course. Because I watched all the shorts this year. Yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> talked about that. Favorite, yeah. Uh, Gore Verbinski, because of Pirates of the Caribbean. Richard Linklater, because of the Before series. <laughs> Those are two funny stats to have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gore Verbinski. <laughs> gore. That's, those, those are my highlights. Um, okay. My highest rated, highest average, like, on Letterboxd, my, mm-hmm. my top rated, not my top rated movie, but the highest rated movie on Letterboxd that I watched this year, City of God. Oh. Hey, you watched City of God? You didn't even tell me you watched City of God. I know. 
When did you watch it? Uh, not that long ago. I think over the break. What did you think of it? I fucking loved it, dude. Dude, you know it's one of my favorite movies. I know, I know. Yeah, dude, yeah. yeah. I fucking loved it. You know, I I watched that with um. I'm not even gonna talk about. So I, I have a I have a I have a running gag with my family, where um they know I'm the movie guy. Okay. Yeah. Whenever they want to watch a movie, I always give them the worst recommendations. Okay, yeah. Like I made my mom watch Raw one time, and she 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 she'll, she'll never forgive me for that. Well, you gotta make her watch Perpetrator now. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, what, so, what, what, wait, whoa, 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 why? The Raw's an amazing movie. I know, but yeah, it's, it's not. It's not a movie for my mom. Okay, you know what um, I mean. Um, so City of God was my redemption. City of God, they're like, Lee, what are we watching tonight? And I was like, fuck it. I was like going through some shit, and I saw City of God was available, and I was like, oh, we're watching City it's of God. A thin boy. And they were all expecting like none of them were expecting to like it because it's one of my yeah. recommendations. Everyone fucking loves Very loved violent it, movie, though. Everyone fucking loves it. Yeah, but it's right up my parents' alley. They love that type of stuff. Yeah, I, I love City of God. Like, it's it's in my top five favorite movies of all time, City of God. Have you seen it? No. It's fucking... It is yeah. really, really good. Was, yeah. that, was yeah. that... I was the one that recommended it to you. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, I, I... So, for me, like, I watched City of God when I was very young. Like, when I was a teenager. Ever since then, I've been fucking obsessed with that movie. Yeah, it's fucking... It was really, really good. It really was. Lowest average was the Titanic 2. Okay. Yeah. It's literally fucking terrible. Go. Uh, most popular Barbie, of course. How did a sequel to Titanic two? So it's like years later they make a new boat, the Titanic two, and that one sinks also. Oh. Okay. Okay. But the yeah. whole movie is like the worst green screen you've ever seen. Like it's okay. it's so bad. Yeah. Uh, most obscure is Daisy, the short film we saw at Fantasia. Oh. I thought Moon's Guy and You would be more obscure. But I guess it got more hype than Daisy, so that makes a bit of sense. We also like reviewed it. <laughs> Yeah, actually, maybe us, maybe my <laughs> own review is what bumped it. Anyways, um, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil it and say that my top movie of the year was Poor Things, The Order of Lanthimos. Oh, oh I haven't. Okay. Yeah, we haven't seen that. We might spoiler have been alert! Well, not spoiler alert. His Laz name. texted me just before. He wrote, "Yo, I'm like, what's up?" He said, "Poor Things, five out of five. Dude, yeah, I swear movie. to God, it's so oh, it is yeah. my favorite Lanthimos. Really, dude, it was so fucking better good. than The Moon Sky and You." Better than okay, Dog well, 2. Uh, better than Dog 2. Ooh. Better than Dog 2. It was okay. fucking good. I mean, yeah, better than Moon Sky and You. I wow. mean, I fucking... Literally, dude, it was my favorite movie of the year. It was so Holy fucking fuck. good. Damn. So fucking good. So that's your top movie of the year. That's my top... That is my top movie of the year. I think we all have a shittiest movie of the year. It's all perpetrator. <laughs> Are we yeah. doing 2023? Well, it came out 2023. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, good. So that counts. Yeah, that's probably... We just uh, reviewed it. Go check out that review, perpetrator. Yeah. Actually, I think Titanic 2 was probably worse. But that didn't come out in 20... A uh, movie that I've seen that came out in yeah. 2020... I'm pretty sure Perpetrator is probably my bottom. Yeah. Damn, I, well, we, I gotta go watch Poor Things now. <laughs> Dude, it's fucking, it is really, really good. What about you, Nick? Uh, for, like, best? We, do, we don't have Letterboxd Pro like this fucking guy over here. Yeah, I gotta go so, um, fucking rack my brain here. Uh, I just started a movie the other day. We got Criterion for the fucking pod. Criterion Channel pod. Hell yeah. <laughs> and, uh, pod! I started <laughs> watching Godland. That's very good. That's your top movie of the year? I mean, maybe not my top or the recent. In the what's your, what's your top movie of the year? Ah, uh, that you've either. Fuck, that, what, what's the what's your what's year? the best movie? What's your favorite movie you've seen this year? Mm-hmm. And what's the top one that came out this year? Both top one that we've seen this year. I mean, maybe Barbie. I had a good time at Barbie. I really oh, liked yeah. Barbie. That was fun. Wow. Um, but I don't know if that one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbie was very good. Uh, also, Crimes of the Future. I just liked it because really shut up. You off, didn't dude. like it. <laughs> <laughs> I liked that movie. That movie's cool. That movie's so bad. <laughs> Marie Curie can suck it, bro. <laughs> That's fun. Um, <laughs> what else did we do? Um, I don't know if it counts, but my favorite TV show of the year. I'm going to give it to fucking uh, Paris Hilton Simple Life. That one's number one. <laughs> for me. Yeah, it doesn't count, dude. <laughs> that, that, that's the Jersey Shore for me. Yeah, you know? That's a top tier show. Oh, yeah, I got I to gotta, I gotta hit a shout out for the Banshees of Inisherin. Yes. Okay. That's, I watched that this that's, year too. That's, that's fucking, fucking good top. That's top three. I think. I think that's my top three. Is fucking poor things, Moon Sky You and Banshees of Inisherin. Banshees of Inisherin came out last year though. Twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty two. Oh, did I? Oh, I just logged it in twenty twenty three. You're right. My bad. So sorry. This fucking guy. So, huh? so I'm so fucking sorry. It's all good. We, uh, <laughs> well, we all watched Bo's Afraid. Yeah, yeah okay. We yeah. haven't spoken about that. Movie. We never talked about. We it. We never did. Yeah. So for the viewers for or listeners. 
that don't know, the the Bo's Afraid is the lost episode other than Mulholland Drive. Yeah. yeah. Because we all went to the theater to go watch it with the intention of potting it right after. Yeah. And we had nothing to say about it. <laughs> like, right. we pulled out the microphone at the theater and we just looked at each other like, okay, we have nothing to say. Yeah. Even his fucking girlfriend was like, I don't understand what's going on. Damn, Bo was afraid too. Yeah, um, I, mean, I like the first quarter of it. The first quarter was sick. Dude, I love that whole movie. Yeah, I mean the middle of it. I just oh. don't know what to say about it. Like, yeah, for me, my favorite movies of the year that came out this year are Barbie, Moon Sky, and You, and and Bo is afraid. Okay. Um, Moon Sky and You is my number one. Then I'd say Barbie, then Bo is afraid. Uh, Moon Sky and You is one of, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's just a fucking treat. So good. And. Um, yeah, Barbie. I, I only watched it once, but it was amazing when we went to go watch it. It was the one of the best cinematic experiences I've ever had was watching Barbie. It was so fucking fun and and hilarious. And like we said during the pod, like Barbie is a movie that maximized its artistic pot- potential. Yeah, conceptually, it did every. It didn't leave any stone unturned with its concept. It's very much the opposite of Perpetrator in that way. Same themes, kind of, but Barbie did it so perfectly. And I know Nick likes Barbie a lot because of the camera filming wizardry that you're not going to know about unless you know how to film stuff like Nick does there. But I just, I just, fucking Barbie was just amazing. I just loved it. But the, the only reason it's second to Moon Sky and You is because Moon Sky and You was just such a random fucking movie to watch. And it was mind-blowing. Mm-hmm. You know? What were you going to say? Uh, well, I just remembered my favorite movie that I saw in 2023 was uh, Echoes from a Somber Empire. It's another Herzog movie. Okay. What I've never seen before. It's on Tubi. If you guys want to watch it on Tubi. Okay. It's a documentary mm. biopic about this African dictator. And it's fantastic. It's kind of surreal. Doesn't get... It's it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a tremendous movie. That I... Well, if you guys want a little demo of the movie there. It's like... Um, this dictator... I don't want to spoil it for you guys because I, I really like it. Maybe just do it on the pod or something. Sure. But um, it's... Herzog following the people who are around this guy, following his wife, mm. his kids, and then people that he kind of imprisoned and tortured and stuff. And we don't get to the story until, like, the end. You see the full picture. So it starts on, like, the smallest of scales of, like, him and his home life. And then you slowly get a bigger picture of this guy's life. And then it ends with his legacy, which right. circles back to the beginning kind of thing. And it's tr- fantastic, tremendously done. It's like Herzog's usual style where it starts off kind of you're going, what the fuck is this? What am I watching? Yeah, yeah. And by the end, you're like, oh, it's the best movie I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So it kind of circles around yeah. on it. It's fantastic. We should, do, we should do a Herzog tier list. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. We did. Yeah. Oh, did we? Yeah, yeah. Did. yeah sorry, bud. Yeah. That wasn't there. You missed it. I've seen, <laughs> seen probably like 50 of his movies, probably. Damn. He only has like 75. I've seen Damn. all of them, I think. I, I also watched Banshee, Banshees of Inishirin this year. Mm. Yeah. It's a very fucking good movie. It's very fucking good. But it's it's still behind Bo's Afraid. Yeah. yeah. Um, any, any thoughts on Bo's Afraid? Like, you guys even I liked like, it. I thought it was I very fucking good. loved it. Yeah. I, I loved it. I think mm-hmm. it, it, it's, like, such a good, again, in terms of... Like, have you guys been able to digest the movie yet? I gotta watch it again, probably. But the pacing, I thought, was still off. Like, you could still cut an hour out of the fucking movie. Yeah, sure. Stuff like that. Sure. Yeah, for me, it was just that, that middle part where he's at that house. Long. Yeah, long, I don't like, I don't like long, the middle part. Yeah. Everything else was amazing. Though. Yeah. The end, dude. The giant dick monster is fucking awesome. Yeah. It's hilarious. So, my favorite part of the movie, though, is right in the middle when they're in the forest, and they go through that, like, yeah. painting. That That's just, like, the yeah. fucking insane part yeah. of the movie. Yeah, and, um, fucking Barbie stole that. When they transition between the real world and the Barbie land. Oh, true. It's, like, pretty goddamn similar to that scene from Both Afraid. Sure. Hmm. Like, like... Probably coincidental. They were probably like both for, in production at the same time, but... For me, Bo, Bo is Afraid is very much, like, the, the holy mountain of our generation, I feel. Because I don't know if you guys remember, when we fucking got up yeah. at the theater, mm-hmm. yeah. I looked at you guys, I said that was the best thing ever. And that's the best fucking movie <laughs> yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. It was so... But it's it's one of those movies that's so fucking weird. Yeah. It's insanely weird. It's hilarious. Yeah, very funny, too. Yeah. But it's 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 so insanely weird. And it's I, I got very much Holy Mountain vibes from it, you know? Yeah. I mean, my favorite part of the movie is when they're in the woods in the play, and there's like yeah. a 25-minute sequence of his whole life in a play. Yeah. And at the end, he's like, and then I never had sex with a woman. And his sons are like, well, how'd you have us? And then it all falls apart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. And he leaves and it's all nothing. Or, it's or so even funny. Or even the, the when they when he enters the forest. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, he's like confused. He doesn't know what's going on. And he's like, and the girl's like, oh, do you want to be part of play? He's like, okay. And she's like, 
<laughs> she's like, oh, what's what's what 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 costume do you wear? He's like, oh, <laughs> he's fucking kind of points that one. <laughs> Fuck. Also, I think I think I think Bo's afraid. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. That might be performance of the year. And he was good. Really? Yeah, that was, he was, he was good. fucking good. He was that. fucking, I think in terms of like legitimate awards, I think Killian Murphy is going to win it for best mm-hmm. actor. Yeah, but the, Killian Murphy's performance as Oppenheimer yeah. is nowhere near as good as his, as, as Joaquin's of both. I don't know. This is his whole performance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> close up and going, oh, oh. the Japanese. Oh. That's, I don't know. I prefer Bo, I think. Yeah. yeah. I, no, but like, like, I just feel like Bo, like, the character is so unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so different, and so weird. Yeah. And has all these weird mannerisms to him. Mm-hmm. And the way Joaquin Phoenix pulled that off was amazing. Like, I know, yeah. I think, I think uh, Ryan Gosling got the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor oh, really? for, okay. for Ken. He might have done okay. a Golden Globe after the Oscar. Or one. Golden, he got, he got an award that. for playing Ken. Okay. But I think, I think Bo is like, is like the best male performance yeah, of the year. Good. Yeah. That was very good. That first quarter, that first like episode, is so funny. Yeah. Also filmed in Montreal. It was fun. But like Bo, Bo is, Bo is afraid. Is such such a a typical movie to be snubbed. Mm. Yeah, it's very weird. Like that's 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 like, I don't know. It's literally like the prototype for fucking oh, yeah, how yeah. to make a movie to not get an award. Yeah, mm. it's it's so insanely. Yeah, weird. how to make the best movie ever to not get an award? I should say. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I think Bo is afraid is an incredible yeah. movie. But best picture, you're giving it to Moon, Moon Sky, Sky and you. Yeah, yeah. But like, I feel like between Moon Sky and you, Barbie and Bo is afraid. Mm-hmm. You can kind of choose either one. Just my tastes specifically yeah. aren't really yeah. like the Moon Sky and you hits all of my fucking tastes exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if I can give it to Echoes of a Somber Empire, I'm gonna give it to Yeah Empire. If not, I'll probably give it to. Uh, I mean, maybe Barbie's the most fun yeah. movie, most sure. fun one that we saw. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of movies uh, that I watched this year that we haven't spoken about that I, that I, that I really loved as well. Mm-hmm. Though, I mean, Infinity Pool came out twenty twenty three. Yeah, yeah, it was good, but yeah. oh meh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I, I don't know. Mia Goth is Mia Goth's performance yeah. was pretty cool. Oh, what's that other fucking Mia Goth movie? Pearl. I like that one too. I watched. Did that, that come out this year? year? Yeah, I, watched I it think it did. Year. Yeah, that's twenty twenty two. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, I watched it a few months ago. I'd like that. Movie. Pearl's fucking good. Yeah. You, you saw really X? Good. No. You didn't watch really? X? Well, you watched Pearl? You didn't watch X? Yeah. I was yeah. Okay. Watch well, yeah. well, Maxine is coming out next year, so we can do all three. Yeah, we should do all three. Yeah, we mm-hmm. can do the trilogy because Ty West is awesome. Mm-hmm. It, even his movie, I don't know what it's House called. Of the Devil. Yeah, that's yeah. Fu- that's a fun. Like, do you, do you still prefer Oppenheimer even over Bo's Afraid? No, Bo. I think I. I think I mean Bo's Afraid is just more up my alley. Yeah. I think I mean Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer was a probably the best biopic. It's probably the. Probably the one of the best five picks ever made. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But fiction one, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. like not documentary style, yeah. but like yeah, yeah. But like it's or narrative. I mean, yeah, yeah. But Mishima's like, up there too. I appreciate yeah. Bo's Afraid more because it's so fucking. It's weird. not just a, something different. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. not just someone's life. It's the most yeah. different movie. I mean, it is yeah. someone's life. Russia. Has but, no, but I mean, it's not. It's yeah, not like no, based it's not on a true story. Yeah. It's like you know. Yeah. Yeah, shout out Ari Aster. What did you say? You saw what? I was doing a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> um, Scream 6? I didn't watch it. You went without me with Kyle. None of the None yeah. of the screams. No. Oh, screams. Not, wait, none of the screams? The new ones. Oh. In the past. How many did you ones? see... I go with Grant every time. And yeah, yeah, you just scream 1, 2, and that's it? Maybe in the end. I don't know. Uh, it's too sick. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, did you guys see the new Evil Dead this year? No, no. Evil Dead Rises was fucking cool. Oh yeah, yeah, it was really, really good. I was not, I was okay. expecting it to be bad, because mm-hmm. but the Evil Dead remake was good. Yeah, and that came out in like twenty twenty three, and I don't think there's been anything since. But Evil Dead Rises, the new one, fucking cool. That's yeah. what I heard was good. Was Terrifier two? Is that Terrifier two is fucking, fucking awesome. Hilarious. I didn't see it. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious. That was very good though. I don't think I think that is also a twenty twenty two movie. Technically. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. But I watched that this year. I loved it. Yeah, it was good. Uh, Art the Clown is probably one of the, one of the best fucking. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, for yeah, sure. I fucking love okay, it. Because Terrifier that. One is like the same movie almost. Okay. But Terrifier Two is almost like a remake of the first one, but mm-hmm. like way better. Okay. It's also fucking funny. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, like Art, Art the Clown's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Okay. And like, it's gory as shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fucking like uh, Terrifier One. 
there's less com there's less like straight up comic relief. Mm-hmm. It's more just funny because it's a clown okay. and he's goofy as hell. Very yeah. campy. Terrifier okay. one, very yeah. campy. Okay. But like, yeah, camp done well because it's still fucking scary. Mm-hmm. He's a scary fucking clown, okay. but like, he's like, uh, it's almost as if fucking Buster Keaton was a serial killer. Okay. Just very physical. Very <laughs> okay. yeah yeah. Like yeah. He, he re- they really lean into him being a fucking clown. Mm-hmm. But he's also like the scariest clown I've ever fucking seen. Okay, I'll watch that one. I didn't it's see pretty, it. Yeah, they're good. Those are good movies. Uh, Asteroid City. That's Wes Anderson's new movie. Fell asleep on it. Was, I was disappointed. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Asleep. Yeah, I was disappointed. Uh, did you see all his shorts that came out? No. Too? Also. Oh yeah. Big fart. Wait, when when did when did the French Dispatch come out? Twenty twenty two. Yeah. Was it? I think, wait, so, is yeah. he, I think he, it was beginning. Oh of the yeah. Year. Yeah. That was a good movie too. That was a good movie. Yeah. yeah. Maybe end of twenty twenty one. We watched it twice in theaters back to back. That's how good it was. Yeah. Most of the good it was. <laughs> well, you're giving best animated movie to Boy and the Huron. Oof! Did you watch Boy and the Huron? I haven't seen it. No, I I was gonna give it to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem. I don't watch best that. Animated movie. Genuinely fucking very good movie. See, I watched Boy and the Huron. I don't know if we're gonna pot it. Should I talk about it or? You could talk about it a bit. I okay. mean, I don't I, I don't know that we're gonna pot it. Either. I went with Chris Rossi. Shout out Chris Rossi and his brother Thomas. Fucking Chris and Thomas. Chris and Thomas. Um. And yeah, it was pretty good. The Boy and Huron was pretty good. Probably best anime movie of the year. Um, but th- there was an essence about it that I found kind of like, eh. Like it wasn't the best Ghibli movie ever. Okay. But it was pretty good. Like okay. it's more just that like there's not a lot of dialogue, which is fine. But you feel like a lot of dead air in the movie a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. Um, and it kind of was like jumping around a lot. Like like just the, the plot was progressing too flow like. Mm. Um, but it was good, and there was, like, but there was, like, some dumb shit, like, you know, like, the main, not antagonist, but, like, the, 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 um, the, the, like, the mentor guy, so, basically, the movie's about this kid who has to, like, maintain this kind of, like, other world, um, and it's, like, in his family's bloodline to do so. Okay. So, his great-granduncle is, like, the guy that's, like, retiring soon, and he wants his kids to succeed him. Mm-hmm. Um, but they can't, I, I don't know why he's his great-granduncle. Kind of just be his great grandfather. Yeah, I remember you telling me this. Like, like, cause they always say, "Oh, thank you so much, grand great grand uncle," and I'm like, "Bro, like, might as well just say great grand uncle's roommate twice removed." Like, I don't like, yeah, like, yeah. just fucking call it. Like, why, why couldn't you be that? And there was some parts with like the mom, like the like the mom's a huge plot point in the movie, and then it gets very confusing at the end, like with the with his dad's mistress and his mom. You don't know who's who, kind of at the end. Yeah, I remember we talking about too. Yeah, that, that was kind of it. But it was a good movie. Like, I, I it, it's probably best animated movie of the year, but, like, you know, I haven't watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, yeah, I was going to ask, what other anime movie did you watch this None. Year? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, El Conde? Have you guys heard about that movie? No. It's about a vampire who, like, spends his life as a vampire just being a dictator in different countries. Okay. And then it's about him in, like, Argentina mm-hmm. at the end of his career and potentially life where he like decides to like just give up on everything. Okay. And so like it's it's just like this family drama of his family trying to win his inheritance. Okay. okay. Fucking good. Oh um, yeah? Okay. Fucking good. And like the the Vatican sends a nun disguised as an accountant to go mm-hmm. take care of his estate. Okay. But she's really there to kill him. El Conde? Yeah, all black and white. Oh yeah. Narration in English, but mm-hmm. all dialogue in uh, Spanish. Okay. Argentina, that's Spanish, right? Yeah. Um, fucking good. Okay, cool. Black and white, super fucking, it's, there's like this random scene where they're at dinner, mm-hmm. family dinner, and he gets up to go to bed. Oh, I already have him in my watch list. I didn't and know. he like starts dancing with his wife, and all of a sudden there's a full like mariachi orchestra band <laughs> in their living room, and then okay. they just disappear. <laughs> like it's very like magic realism. Yeah. That's Fan. fun. It's fucking good. It's mm-hmm. really, really good. Mm. Um, the movie we were talking about a couple weeks ago, Hacks On, was also on yeah. Criterion. So yes. That'd yeah. be cool, too, if we're talking about vampires and black and white. And stuff. Yeah. Cool. So what are we giving the pizza award to? Um, I think... <coughs> the mo- model is best film yeah, of the year. Yeah, that's the best of the year? Best of the year. The pizza? Pizza award. We'll do the worst I mean, of the year. It's the Julia award. <laughs> My cat. Perpetrator. Whoa, 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 whoa. No spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> Best one that we did on the pod in 2023 was pizza. Yeah, the uh, the the Monolith Film Club podcast. Best of oh, okay. 
Okay. I think, I mean, average score, it, it, we'd have to give it to Barbie then. Probably Barbie, yeah. Barbie. I think that's that's got our highest Barbie average. Barbie or Moose Guy and you. Yeah, I can give us a reading of what we did this year. Yeah. Or actually... Cannibal Ferox. Wait, yeah, when was Crimes of the Future? Oh, do we... Oh, that's right. August Cannibal of the Future is not getting a Future Award. No, 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 no. <laughs> The Are Abandoned we, was a movie that we don't talk very much about, but it was a very good movie. Dude, we took, good. we had like a year off in between Crimes of the Future and Barbie. Yeah. So Barbie comes in August 2023. Yeah. Yeah, because he went to go work in fucking yeah. the movies. Yeah. So we got Barbie, Oppenheimer, The Abandoned, Pandemonium, New Life, The Moon Sky and You, Hansel and Gretel, Cannibal Ferox, Infinity Pool, Talk to Me, Mishima, and fucking uh, Perpetrator. All right, Future Award goes to Moon Sky and You, dude. It's got it. What do you think? For a monolith movie, yeah. Yeah, it's got it. Yeah. It's got to be Moose That's fair. Well, let's hit up Hey Yao Lin. We're going to mail him this slice of pizza. Ma- we're going to mail <laughs> a Hey Yao Lin this slice of pizza to Hong Kong. He eats it and dies. He, he, won, he won the <laughs> award. Sold pizza. Uh, fucking amazing student film. Yeah. I guess yeah, Barbie yeah, second it. place. Yeah, Barbie. Uh, yeah, runner up. Yeah. Runner up. Yeah. So what's the shittiest movie here? What's the, what do we give you the Julia Award? Thank you. That was Sorry. pretty bad. Sorry yeah, Julia, you get the perpetrator after yeah. the year. What's second worst? Second worst. Hansel and Gretel for me. Shut up. I kind of well. In terms of what we did on the pod. Yeah. Cannibal. Fe- I, th- I I I I like Cannibal Fear Rock less. I like Cannibal Fear Rock more. What about one of the fucking uh, Fantasia movies? Oh well, yeah, no Pandemonium. I like Pandemonium more than Hansel. And more than Hansel. You really Gretel? just like Hansel and Gretel make that much. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. That movie. I didn't. Was it not not that I didn't do it for me? Really? Wow. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what else? Well, yeah, I mean, me, it's Campbell Fear Rocks and Hansel and Gretel are kind of tied. Like, normally I'd give Fear Rocks more just because of the content of it. Yeah. But I think Hansel and Gretel, thinking about it more, it's stupider that you kind of remember, oh, yeah, there's a cookie or something. So you kind of go, eh, <laughs> That's kind of tied for me with those two. All right. Well, fuck. I don't know. Should um. Best actor, best lead performance. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, Bo. I was Bo's afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That counts as a podcast movie. Yeah. <laughs> so the 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 lost episode. Uh. Yeah. I mean, Mia Goth and Infinity Pool is pretty good. I think that's. I think I think Mia Goth's performance was bad in Infinity Pool. I like her it. yelling is just always good. Yeah. Most people, I, I, I wish I, that was my ringtone. Most people, most people <laughs> I saw, <laughs> Jamesy. Most people I saw online hated her performance. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, I did see that. Um, best performance. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna I, honestly, I'm gonna give all if like we're doing Oscar style. I, I, poor things wins everything for me. Mm-hmm. It was that good. Really? Yeah. Damn. Emma Stone lead performance, Willem Dafoe fucking supporting role. Like that movie is so fucking good. Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, it's not a 2023 movie, but fucking. Timothy Chalamet and fucking French Dispatch. Timothy Chalamet. Did you guys see Don't Look Up? No. Mm-hmm. You did? Yes. Timothy Chalamet and that fucking I love. Really? He's so funny. He's just such a goofball. More, more yeah. than French Dispatch? No, I'm just saying okay. it, it's nice mm-hmm. to see, because Timothy does very serious roles. Yeah. yeah. But like his role in Don't Look Up is just some like fucking deadbeat skater kid. He's yeah. so funny. <laughs> I mean, that movie was too on the nose for Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's a little too but it's, the, it's the dude who did... Uh, Fucking Vice big short and the and Big shit. Short, yeah, yeah, like that's his thing. Yeah. Is his I mean, I thought Big Short was good. Though. I like well, Big Short. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, also the 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 main character of Talk to Me had a good performance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she was good. Yeah. Yeah. Not not best of the year though. No. Yeah. Not best. I don't think Timothy. Should, did you guys see Wonka? Speaking of Timmy. No. 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 I hated it. Oh really? Did I fucking hated it? Just watch the Don, Johnny Depp one. Like, what are you doing? You know. Well, that's the thing. Is is uh, Timmy. I don't know. To me, really, want as a character, it, you're supposed to question his sanity the whole movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like in the new one, he's just kind of silly. Okay. I, I'm not worried for anyone's life around him. Okay. Like in you know in Tim Burton's one, you're like, did those kids actually die? Yeah. Yeah. You know, even the original, he's like, what's going on here? Like, oh, this guy's right. fucking insane. Yeah, they kill him in it. Yeah. Well, look at Julia. But in in the new one, he's like, you know, a really good person. Yeah, and he's just kind of quirky, so it's like okay, this is yeah. just a it's a the whole thing's a musical, like the yeah. other ones are musicals too because the Oompa Loompas sing. Yeah. This one it's a straight musical. Everyone sings like every three minutes. 
Okay. okay. And it's, I fucking hate it. Best soundtrack. That's tough. That's a tough one. I, I got mine. Oh, do you? Wait, wait, okay. Are we talking about like, so when you guys think, think soundtrack, mm-hmm. are we talking about like the music for the movie or the, or all the audio in the movie? Music. Music? Yeah. Barbie. Barbie's pretty good. Yeah. I'll just say Barbie or yeah, Oppenheimer Barbie was. Fucking I don't like good. the soundtrack to Barbie. What really? You listen to the album? Yeah, the musical it's number. fire, bro. I don't like any of it. Uh, not really? the yeah, not the songs. You're talking about the score. Yeah, not the soundtrack. Yeah, he's talking yeah. soundtrack. Not I'm talking score. soundtrack. Oh, okay. Score? I think Oppenheimer. Yeah, because I was thinking yeah, more that's of an like, easy win for Oppenheimer. That was so Ryan good. Gosling is singing and stuff. It was a fantastic musical number. Because mm-hmm. I like, there's some songs on the fucking. Um, there's some songs on the on the Barbie album that are fucking fire, bro. Mm-hmm. I can't stand Billie Eilish. Not Billie Eilish. There's one by Charlie XCX that I really like. Which one's that? Speed Drive. Okay. It's the one where um, I'm not gonna play it, but it's the one where you know in the movie when they're in the cubicles and she's digging. Yeah, no, I know exactly. What oh, you're oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 yeah dun, I don't like dun, that. Dun, I love that song. That's a yeah. fire song. Banger of a fucking song. Um. Yeah, no, you guys got you guys just gotta watch poor things. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, actually, I'm gonna text Laz right now. I'm, you know what I'm gonna write, Lee? You wanna guess what I'm gonna write to Laz? What? Guess. Okay. No, I guess he wrote five out. What, what am I gonna write over here? Laz said, he just said poor things five out of five. Yeah. Just answer. Uh, perpetrator one out of five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write sick invite. <laughs> of course. Um, damn! Now we gotta really watch poor, watch poor things. Yeah, cause uh, what about past lives? Have you guys heard heard that about that movie at all? No, not at all. I heard, did you watch it? Yeah, no, no, I didn't. I heard that's also a very good movie. Me too. The guy who did uh, the guy who did Drive My Car came out with a movie this yeah. year too. I didn't see that either. What about what about everything all every, everything everywhere all at once? I think that's twenty twenty two. Oh really? Twenty twenty two? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I did like it though. Good movie. That's the guy who did Swiss Army Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I did like it. But in terms of... In terms of 20... Films that came out this year, Poor Things wins every award for me. Really? It was that bad. It really was. Hmm. I think. Guess we, we gotta pot it. Um, I mean... Uh, that... Bo's Afraid, Barbie and Oppenheimer are like the, the obvious winners for, for most awards for me. I yeah. Think. Because I watched a, a bunch of really good horror movies too, but nothing stand out in horror this year, really. Mm-hmm. No. I didn't, uh, not, nothing that caught my radar. Unless you count Bo's Afraid of Horror, not really watching. Yeah. yeah. That's like counting Darren Aronofsky's mother as horror. Yeah. It's very anxious. It's yeah. not really horror, I don't think. Well, it's like yeah. Magnolia was in there too. Yeah. 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 In sort terms of movie? movies I watched this year. Sure. Um,. Well, it, um, probably still the same. I mean, Poor Things is so fucking good. I, I think it's like, the, I think it would still be my top. I mean, Lance almost fucking rules. Yeah, he really does. I mean, I like The Force of Love a lot, too, though. Should we do a Poor Things episode? I think we have to now. Get Laz on it? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Oh, I watched Irreversible this year. Oh, that's a great movie. Gaspar and Louis. Yeah. Do you like him? I've seen a few of his movies. That's, that's a happen. goaded horror movie. Yeah. Irreversible is fucking good. Wait, what did I say? I saw Love and the fucking the Void or something. It, it, Enter the Void? Yeah. yeah. I, those. I watched Irreversible and Climax. Have you watched there. Martyrs yet? No. It's on... Somewhere, I think. It's on Shutter, for sure. No, I don't think so. Damn. Martyrs. Oh, I, I found a website. Um, called on the World Wide Web? F'd Up Movies. F'd Up Films. F'd Up Movies. What's it called? I think it's effed up movies. Effed up movies dot com. It's E F F E D. Okay. It's on there. Just for free. Ooh. Every snuff film ever is on the site. Okay. And like anything anything like fucked up. Anything fucked up, yeah. Fuck is on this E F F E D Effed Up Movies dot com. Right. They have tons of like really deep cuts and stuff. And then they also have the occasional like they have carries. Okay. So like just because there's a lot of blood, it's on this thing. Mm-hmm. But it, dude, it's literally just some guy's blog. 
and he just has full movie every all of these things is full. He has like two girls, one cup, and like all those. Oh yeah, too. classic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's got all those. Cool. Um, you got some beheadings, goats, man. Yeah, well, he there's there's this there's these movies, fucking most disturbed people on planet Earth, or something like that. The M M Bops or M M Dops or something like that. It's an acronym, but it's most disturbed on planet Earth. I think M M Dopes. Okay. The M Dopes. And those are all like all the all those classic internet all those classic live league videos are on there. Rest yeah, in really. peace, live league. It's just it's oh, just. Yeah, uh, really. it was on, I was on an item fix the other day looking for stuff. No good. Yeah, no, bro. After a movie, the M dopes. It's literally just like montage style, oh, okay. just back to back. No, no, just, like, no, no. If you them. want some fucked up shit, you gotta mm-hmm. go on bestgore.fun. Best. Okay, yeah, I'll write that down too. That's like that's where you're gonna get all the live league shit. Oh, okay. Bestgore.fun, yeah. Because I was. Do you, I was trying to watch, um, here, I added it to my watch list recently, maybe you guys have heard of it. I watched, uh, b- b- um, But I'm a Cheerleader, mm-hmm. as well, this year, I think. That, that movie, I really like that movie, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Never watched um, it. Subconscious Cruelty. Ooh. Have you guys heard of that? No. Apparently, it's by, uh, Kareem Hussein, and apparently it's just like, it's as if. Uh, College of the Pomegranate mm-hmm. was made by like an angsty teen who spent too much time on Live League. Oh hell yeah! So okay. it, it sounds bad, but mm-hmm. up our alley bad. Yeah, exactly. That's very interesting. And that's the only site that I could find that that had it. Okay. Damn. And they, then I went through their catalog one day, and they have like fucking everything you can think of that's that's yeah. fucked up and not available anywhere else. Mm-hmm. You got Mr. Hands. Yep, that's 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 oh. in the one of the M dopes. Wow. Yeah. That's fun. That's very fun. Yeah. Good memories. Yeah, oh. they have they yeah. have all of those ones, all okay. those classics. Yeah, yeah. Remember the hand thing? I do remember the hand thing. Okay, fuck. I used to bother him all the time about the hand thing. He always looked at me like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> Good times. Coffee club. All right, is that it? Is that is that yeah, our yeah, year in review? review? So what is it? Barbie's number one overall year and I for guess. odds for plot, poor, poor yeah. things, poor things. Uh, otherwise, do you, for you guys want to have, have the uh, Oscar? Have the Oscar nominees been released? I don't even. Yeah, you I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a yeah. shit. So for podcasts, it's Barbie and personal. It's poor things. Yeah. Echoes from a somber empire. The moon sky and you. The moon sky and you. There you have it. Three movies to watch. Shout out! You can follow us everywhere. Check out our podcast. We're on all the platforms. Like, subscribe, all that.